welcome to Water Couch TV. Thank you, Cole. And Peter Ryan is here. Could you please show your card? There we are. Okay. Could you please introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. I'm Peter Ryan. I'm uh, Director of Policy Partnerships and Communications at Sanitation and Water for Africa, based in Wagadugu. Okay. Formi Crepa, some people may know it. Formi known as Crepa, yes. Remember it that way. Okay, the big discussion point here at this World Water Day event is, of course, the post-2015 agenda. Um, could you tell us your views on that and the way ahead as you think we should go? Well, I think that the, the contents of the agenda amongst wash, the WASH sector, which is our primary interest at Sanitation and Water for Africa, is very well developed and the, the discussion has been going on for quite some time. And so the content of the desire for universal coverage in a relatively ambitious time scale, maybe 2030, 2025, um, with uh, reference to the equality of getting there, so don't leave the poor till last. Those sorts of issues are well developed and um, that, that's great. The thing that doesn't seem to be certain is whether or not the process will end up with a with a water goal and I suppose that's the worry that, that we've, we've actually got the content of what we want a, a target a water goal but whether or not that's actually going to materialize and I suppose in a sense that relates to whether or not wash water resources management and wastewater sort of three siblings of the water sector are actually able to present a unified face to the outside world. And there are conflicts there and tensions, one of which is the, uh, whether or not sanitation and hygiene, which from our perspective is the most important, probably the most important element of the whole spectrum, whether or not that's best served by staying within the water family or whether the linkages with the health se sector provide the best way forward in, 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 in uh, creating a future target. So I think there are things seem to be moving forward okay in respect of post-2015, but there are, there's a lot, a lot to be done and this sort of apparent unanimity of, of discussions I think hides some quite big steps forward that need to be made. That's the first thing, and I guess the other thing is that you know, we're at March the 22nd, World War Today, um, 2013, so we've still got two years and nine months and a few days before the MDGs expire. And with the necessity of getting what the, the post-2015 framework right, that, that's fine, it needs to be done, but we still have to keep pushing away and plugging away we know when the sanitation MDG is not going to be met, and in Africa we know it's going to be missed by, by a very large distance, but nonetheless, we've still got to keep working, and, and um, we, mustn't, as, we mustn't assume that all these problems can be fixed if we look at the future, because they're here now, and we, we've still got to keep going now. Okay. Thank you very much, Peter. Thank you, cool. My pleasure. Okay.